What's going on? This is Roster of the Burbank Misfits. And of course, I'm always joined with my wonderful, brilliant, awesome co-host, CW. Oh, that's some fluff. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, today we have a very fun guest. Like, she's just full of, like, bubbly personality. I got had the opportunity to meet her at the Urban Next Awards uh, lingerie party. And, you know, I've, I've seen her name pop up here and there. And I got a chance to actually meet this person. And, like, you know, everything I've seen about this person, person popping around is absolutely true about, you know, how fun she is, how how awesome she is. And she's and she's from the Midwest, so that's even a bigger a bigger plus. Because you know we represent the Midwest all day, even though we're out here in LA. So without further ado, Miss Mina Carla, how you doing? Great. How are you, Raw Star? I am exhausted. But <laughs> I am fantastic. I learned the hard way. If you're shooting pictures and content for other people, don't take as many pictures. <laughs> You oh yeah. To, when you don't want to go through a lot of pictures. And oh, I took I took about 3,482 pictures of different things and I shot three videos. Yes. Yeah, you definitely I got think. your work cut out for you. But you know, it's only good fun. So um without further ado, tell everybody like who is who is who is this Mina lady? Who who is this person? Uh, well, I am your favorite kinky girl next door. <laughs> I like how you just said, like, yeah, that's messy. I'm just that kinky girl next door. So, you, <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, so, so you're from, you're from, um, Detroit, right? So what, yes. uh, what, what got you into this fun, fun, interesting industry? I'm sorry, I'm making sure my phone's on vibrate. Well, um, like I was saying before, I got started out in the industry as a dancer. And um, throughout like my uh, years of dancing, I realized um, the power of branding and uh, specifically through sex work. So um, I had went to, I had attended a couple of different like feature shows. Like I met different girls in the industry from like dancing and them doing like feature shows and everything like that. I met Stormy Daniels before Adriana Chechik and um, Elsa Jean from um, just dancing at clubs. And um, it was like right around kind of like the, uh, like the OnlyFans craze. I had met uh, Elsa and I was like talking to her. I, we had like a thorough conversation. And basically I was asking her about her insight on like the like the porn industry versus like, you know, like doing content creation, things along those nature. And she told me that if it's something that I want to do, then I should definitely get into the get into it like now. But mm -hmm. all in all, I got into it so I can be able to establish a brand within myself and be able to not only profit off of that, but be able to like, kind of, you know, like um, be able to use it. Like that's one of the many things that I wanna do in this industry is do feature dancing. And mm -hmm. porn was just a way for me to go about branding myself more into this industry, building more of a name for myself. How long have you actually been in the industry? Because I know I got you got on my radar. Uh, I want to say probably late in two thousand twenty one. Okay. But I don't I don't know how long you've been in the in doing actual sex work. So so I've been doing actual sex work since about uh the end of twenty sixteen going into twenty seventeen is when I started dancing. But I didn't start doing, I didn't start creating content until like the end of 2019, going into 2020, like literally right before the pandemic. You know, I'm not going to say your age, but uh, via the year you say you started sex work, I thought you were like younger. <laughs> <laughs> she looks 21. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm either <laughs> younger or older than what I actually am. If anybody thinks you're older, we need to go ahead and smack them around because you don't. <laughs> 
not it's, even just because how I look like if they just think because of my demeanor like I come across as more mature than what I really am so mm -hmm. like they just assume I'm a little older oh just because you're about your business and you just don't you know party around every day like everybody else does probably yeah yeah I can see that so what's like what's your long like because you're talking about branding so what's your long-term goal because you know I know you're uh where like have you featured this anywhere like recently you have any coming up or um like what's your long-term um aspirations um I definitely want to do uh like I said feature dancing and stuff like that um but all in all like my long-term goal is to become the next Chloe Cherry okay so you want to get into acting yes okay can I ask have you uh done um because I know like there's some people like some other outside outside acting stuff have you done outside acting stuff or have you just acted in the realm of um porn um so I have done a lot of acting I have always been in either drama or choir ever since I can remember since grade school going into high school um so I've been in a lot of plays different types of musicals and everything like that and um I'm actually currently starring in a short film. Uh, this guy, his name is Mark Media. He's creating a short film called uh, Piece of the Pie. And I am basically kind of like the leading lady, one of the leading ladies of it. So it's oh, really when nice. Does, when, does, when does this come out? Like, I, I, I want to see, I want to watch. So from my understanding, it's going to everything. be... It's going to be like a kind of like an episode series. I haven't okay. figured out exactly where he's going to like put it out as of yet, but pretty much he's going to do like one episode per week. I think it's supposed to kind of come out, I think either next month or November. I can't remember which day, but um, it should be coming out soon. So I'll be sharing it everywhere. Oh, wow. Time. Like we got, we got some, it like, I'm looking forward to this. I really want to support because uh, I like I love supporting people who have drive and ambition. And I and to see like y'all can't see her face because we only we only use audio. But if you could see her smile and her excitement and talking about it, you would get more excited about it too. <laughs> like it just it just makes me want to like wish it's wish it was out like right now and yeah we can watch the episode together on Twitch or something and say. <gasps> you know <laughs> yeah i'm excited to see how it's going to turn out too honestly so well, like and this is in my nerd side so what uh what uh range you sing when you sung in um choir like were you soprano alto so i started out as a soprano and then i was an alto one in um high school okay yeah i was they put me in the deepest of the deepest voice tone when I sung, so I had, they had me as a bass, bass, and I was just in the background, just no one could really hear me, but you know the deep voice in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I got into uh, when I got into high school and did choir and everything, I always kind of was told that like having like an alto meant like you had a real like deep voice and I was mm -hmm. like semi kind of confused as to why I was even um, placed over there. Cause like I said, like growing up, I thought I was a soprano and then it turned out that I actually wasn't. And it was well, just- Well, I mean, did they have you as a, as, a, as a soprano too when you were- um, Yes. So I started out as a soprano too, but mm -hmm. it ended up going from soprano two to alto one. Yeah, I mean, because I, I just know like that just means you have range to go to both. Cause I know I know a lot of S twos that uh could do A one perfectly and vice versa. Yeah. But they prefer to be comfortable in a certain range. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, I have troubles doing bass one when I'd sing for real. So yeah, that whole range thingy. 
So uh, outside, outside of the one you have coming up next month, is there any any other things that are it's currently out that with your stage name that any of your fans can watch? Uh, yes, actually. I just had a new scene for Browsers come out with Xander Corvus. Um, it was pretty fire. The trailer is on my uh, timeline, so definitely go. Yeah, I just, I just saw that pop up a second ago. Yeah, Xander is cool people. Yeah, he's like, chill. Yeah, because he works with Sway. I used to help them out a lot. Oh, wow. Um, do you know what Sway is? Uh, I've heard of Sway. Yeah, so I've I hooked them out a few times, like when they raise money. So is there okay? So you've been in for a few years now. Is there anyone like who's your top five who you have not worked with that you want to work with? It, and it doesn't matter uh, gender, but who's I was your, just about to ask male who's your, or female? Who's your hit list? You can you can do five of each, but it's it's on you. Who is your hit list? Okay, so <laughs> definitely Isaiah Maxwell. As far as males, he's really at the top of that list um Manny Ferreira um King Noor I've worked with him but I have yet to work with him one-on-one -on -one. so I definitely want to experience that small hands and um oh who would my last one be Um, Ricky Johnson. Okay, Ricky Room. Yeah. Um, as far as women, I would have to say, uh, Miss Misty Stone, definitely. Uh, Misty Stone, Rebel Rider. Um. Roxy Sinner and uh, Sarah J. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah J. And and Pinky, Pinky. She's I know she's retired, but I would just love for her to come out of retirement. Well, and just, well, like, Pinky, Pinky still Pinky still does things here and there. Like she's not. I know she directs. Yeah. Yeah, I know she directs now, but I'm I don't know if she still performs. I think I think she I still think. does stuff not here and there, but not as frequent anymore. Cause I know just just like uh Cherokee, like yeah. is main, like mainly the director, but I know off and on they hop in front of the camera like I'm still here. I still can do <laughs> I can still work it, you know. She's another but, one too. She's another. <laughs> yeah, like Cher Cherokee's not. Yeah, she's really nice. And I'm surprised I'm surprised literally you haven't worked with Ike yet. Cause I know Ike works with a lot of people who are, are newer. Mm hmm Yeah, so I'm really shocked you haven't worked with Ike yet. No. Isaiah Max. Hasn't asked me. <laughs> Kinda <of> disappointed. <laughs> oh, I can text I can text him right now. Tell him I said <laughs> hello. I was about to say that. You got like, <laughs> the, you got like I would, I would, I will text him. I will text him right now in the middle of the podcast. And if he replies to me during the podcast, it'd be hilarious. And <laughs> tell him that he needs to he needs to fuck Mina. <laughs> like she really, really, really wants to fuck you, dog. You need to make that happen. <laughs> and Mina will be funny if he actually does reply back in the middle of this podcast and says, "For real." <laughs> <laughs> Star. And in the middle of the podcast, like you just named this podcast, uh, getting Isaiah to uh, work with Mina. <laughs> <laughs> so outside, of, like, why I type this up? Outside of acting and um, soprano, what um, soprano? Wow. Outside of acting and singing, what else? What else makes Mina Mina? Um. Well, Mina's very simple, so. She just, honestly, I'm just super chill. Like, I don't really do too much outside of, like, working and everything like that. I like to listen to music. Um, I like to travel, experience different things, do different activities, go to arcades, ice rinks, 
skydiving, amusement parks. I just like going to go do stuff, do fun stuff, create memories and stuff like that. That's it. Two of those things just just seem very extreme. <laughs> I like skydiving, I'm like, uh uh, like j jumping out of a point. No, no, but <laughs> no, they just like I understand it's safe because like. Um, depending on some, like sometimes people do it with an instructor, so you have someone else on your back, and yeah. sometimes you have two shoots. But the thing is, it's like, still, <laughs> I'm not doing that in the in the sky. I yeah. would, I would definitely go with an instructor. <laughs> like I've done, I've done like the simulation stuff, like in Vegas, where they have like the the giant skydive like machine thing, and it was pretty fun, but if I were to ever go and real to do the real thing, I would definitely have someone go with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was some monster who just died. Actually, she went on a solo jump, and yep, just yep, didn't make it. No, you said who? First solo jump. You said who? Uh, some influencer, that's what the article said. They're like, Instagram influencer, blah, 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 blah. Died in the middle of doing, uh, in the middle of skydiving. Hello, yeah, solo skydiving. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, again, with, with an instructor. <laughs> See, like, I would just, uh, I don't know. Then, I don't know. Cause I, I've seen many people, uh, my friends do it. But it's just that whole jumping, willingly jumping out of an airplane. Yeah. And just falling down to the earth. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> this, See, this I is, bungee jumped. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to get like whiplash from like doing it. But like the key was just like relaxing your body. Well, I have, a, I have a broken head. neck, so I can't even jump out of a, a do do a bungee jump now. So oh I tried, no! I try to bungee jump, and I'll just I'll just be there, just hanging. Oh no! Like a whole like, <laughs> what happened to Raw? His dumb ass tried to bungee jump. Yeah, that'd be like I don't cuss, but that's like, everybody else. His dumb a try to try to bungee jump, and now he just. He's just hanging. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then he just go around the industry. Everybody just saying, that's, 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 he black. <laughs> and I can't ice skate because that's, that's too cold for me. It's not that bad. It depends on when you go. Like, I, I'll be, Obviously, don't go after well while it's snowing or anything like that. But definitely go like when it's like a reasonable degrees outside. But it's fun. I mean, it's like the last time I went ice skating in any capacity was in my um, college town when they had an ice skating rink, and that was cold to me. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, I remember that one. I went. I think a place in Pasadena, actually, is uh, there's there's a deleted scene from Bridesmaids that I did background on. And really? Around, yeah, we had to skate around in the ice rink for like well the whole day. Nice. I I've known. Hold on a minute, time out. I'm sorry. I've known you for how long, and I did not know that. Yeah, I was just gonna ask. Like, I didn't know you were like in cinematography like that. Oh no, I did background. I was a ba I was like in the background, you know. Oh, you were like an extra. Live furniture. I'm live. I was live furniture. No, okay. He, he yeah. he's yeah. an actor. He's an actor. Like, he, well, he did oh, more I, acting back in the day. Now he's a personal okay. trainer. Okay. In L.A. Now he just he just trains models and actors what, and regular humans. I just just what? Yeah. Like it's I not need a personal hard. trainer too. Hey, See? all right. See, he's in. He's in no ho. Yeah. See there. Get your right. Get your tight. 
Yeah. <laughs> do you do like virtual like um sessions because I live all the way in Florida? Oh shit, yeah. 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 I used to uh train uh Alex Moore. Um I don't know if it's really her. She's a porn performer also. <laughs> Yeah, see there. Got to link up afterwards, and you know, get it right, get it tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, and I was texting, so I missed some of your list. But uh, and if he replies back to me, it's hilarious. So we'll we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll see within the next thirty minutes if uh, he actually uh does reply to me, <laughs> and then I just made a whole connection. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> So, so are you looking? Are you going to like? Have you been to the AVNs yet? Like, get or not? No, or you... like I said, I got in the industry right. like uh right before AVN. Like, I got in the industry maybe about like I would say September or October of 2019. So I, I knew what AVN was prior to getting into the industry i just didn't know when it was mm -hmm. january yeah and i also didn't know about the other like award shows in the industry like i didn't know about urban x didn't know about why not didn't know about what's the other one what's i feel like there's oh uh, there's a lot um urban x awards why not x -Biz. Um, didn't... X -Biz. yeah yeah, avian xrco yeah um yeah. night night moves Still don't kind of know a whole lot about XRCO either. XRCO is basically the X Critics Awards. So basically that that's the only one that's industry only. Okay. So only industry people can go to that one. Um with AVN, Urban X, X3 uh fans can go. But okay. XRCO is only for uh and like people who are in the industry, yeah. So it's it's just a di different dynamic than the other ones. Yeah, I also didn't know that fans could attend uh, award shows until Urban X either. Yeah, like the thing is, it's like, um, the lingerie party and the luau was a little hectic this year, and then we're changing it up for next year, but uh. I believe like having fans there does give a little different dynamic. Just as long as we have, you know, security around just to yeah. make sure that it doesn't get too crazy. And Urban X usually doesn't get doesn't have, that, like we never had it. I've never had an issue with you know fans being overbearing. Just right. the photographers, and you never can control the photographers that are outside because it's a public street. Yeah. No matter no matter no matter which award show. But other than that, other than that, I believe that it's as such a great dynamic. Was Urban X your first award show? Ever? Yes. Yeah. Oh. What did you what did you think of your first award show experience? I like it. <laughs> I thought it was good. Again, like I, I had a great time. It's just like I again didn't know about the whole um the whole fans uh yeah. being able to attend and everything. And um there was one dude in particular that was there the entire weekend that was just literally getting on my nerves. Like getting on my nerves. Like everywhere I was, he was there. I'm like, why do I keep running into you? I think I know who you're talking about. You and might I'll, know who I'm talking I'll, about. I'll say, I'll say it after. Yeah. I, oh, I want to know on air. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, See, now I, you being messy. I, 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 think, I, think it was, I think I think it was one person who got there uh, really early that uh, she's talking about. And I'm not going to disclose who that person is. But well, I I'm think a... she's talking about this person. And um, I'm going to say it afterwards because, you know, I don't want to deter anybody from being her fan. <laughs> because they could be listening right now and they could already uh, have a, a Mina Carlisle fan club t-shirt. And 
I don't I don't want him to retire the t-shirt. I want him to, to continue, you know, giving her money on her OnlyFans, her mini vids, anything. Same. But anything. I'll disclose <laughs> to you later. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just try to start drama, CW. It's too early for that. <laughs> it's two thirty <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> you gotta wait till seven o'clock for that. <laughs> that means no. I know, like uh, for my uh, first my first award show was Urban Next, also yeah. way back in twenty ten, and back then, like. I didn't really watch. Like, oh. I watch porn, but I didn't really watch porn a lot. Yeah. And like, I don't. I already didn't drink or smoke. And like, people around me was like, "What do you do?" And then I didn't know. Like, the person in front of me was going to the Hall of Fame. And I had no idea who the heck it was. And yeah. I think that, I think I kind of offended them because I didn't know. Who the heck it was. And you want to know something? Like, I've had some of that happen to me too. Like, is completely different meeting someone in person after especially after like you've interacted with them online or saw how they interact online like it's completely like completely completely different yeah yeah it can be oh Good yeah, yeah i would say that there's there are there's a lot of people who i've met um online first and then i meet them in person and it just gets so unbearable to be around them oh and my god they feel so entitled um because their name is known mm -hmm. but it's like yeah you like yeah you're known whatever but i'm not gonna treat you so much different i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you the what like i'm not gonna give you what you want I'm gonna yeah say it like that and and then some some they some people seem like a a-hole on the internet but then you meet them in person and they're the sweetest people in the effing world. Literally. And like I, I I love that, but it's just like your online persona is is evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was I was scared to even say hello to you. And that then it's some so then it's some like who matching on both spectrums. Cause yeah, because I've been around for 14, like about 14 years now. So I've seen like yeah, You've I've, been around some stuff. I've been around some stuff and I've heard some stuff and there's some stuff that I know about people that I got to carry to the grave. I'll take I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> stuff that can get people in trouble. I'll say that. Damn. Okay. <laughs> There's secrets. That's new. That tells you not to ever tell Rostar or nothing. Oh no no no! I, uh, that, that tells you you can trust me because I won't say it. You are uh, well, given the right kind of situation, you might want want to part with some information. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I, no, Rossar <laughs> seems like a person who could keep a secret. I would, I would definitely, I would trust you with some information. Thank you, thank you. I That's... feel like you wouldn't say shit. I like, won't. I feel like you're very much like a closed book when it comes to yeah like things. no like i like I, I know a lot of stuff and i just feel that like cause everybody tells me everybody comes to me and tells me everything and it's just like i remember it but it's just like well that's good to know okay <laughs> you gotta yeah just watch that i just gotta make sure i look you look out for everybody you know it's that's interesting true. it's interesting so um so are you looking forward to the rest of the award shows that are coming up? Because I know I think the next thing is Night Moves. I don't know if you uh because that's more so what you said about feature dancing. That's more so the um this stripper. I don't know, like I don't know the proper word for it, but the exotic. stripping ones, exotic dancers, thank you. Exotic dancer side of uh the award shows. Really? Yeah, and it's in Florida. Is it? Yes, I think I think it's in um or you know <laughs> I think it's in St. Petersburg. I oh think. really? When is it? It is it's in October. Oh shit. Right I around the corner. Yeah, because uh, I know I probably won't be able to go. Oh, uh, you'll be out here working. Um 
No, I have um, I have like a shoot. I have a first. Okay, so I have my first shoot uh in Europe coming up. Oh, nice. Fog. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> have you have you been to Europe yet? Uh, I have not. So this is going to oh. be interesting. Okay. This yeah. is going to be interesting. I'm kind of like excited. <laughs> that and we have uh, Exotica, New Jersey too. So I have that. But um, fuck, I, mean, I don't know. My move is the sixth, sixth and ninth of October. Yeah, the, I'm not the sixth. Be. Yeah, the 6th and 9th of October, and I know it always happens around this time, and it's actually in Tampa. So do they have it around the same time every year? Yeah, yeah. so usually, usually, usually everything takes place the same time every year, because you always got your AVNs in January, your XBIS um, around uh, January, late, early February, yeah. Your uh X three in like February, your Urban X in August. Um Night Moves is usually October or late September. So it's usually always around the same time every year. But okay. Night Moves is the one for exotic like more so for exotic dancers and stuff like that, or people who um who dance. So it's just a big thing that if you were to attend next year with what you're trying to do, uh, you can meet a lot of people who are more so okay. those promotionals, people who say, oh, I can have you dance here, here, and whatever. But yeah. Okay. No, don't worry. Not. Dang, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't know about it. And like, yeah. and like, as in, you, like, they haven't really, uh, promoted it like I they usually do every year because it's usually all over darn Twitter about you know it's coming out and I'm not gonna lie I've seen night moves like around like online and everything and I thought it was like a magazine <laughs> that's what I thought it was yeah it's, yeah but it's a that is a, a exactly I didn't know it was a whole it. award show yeah three days and then like that whole three days they have like different um people who feature da feature dance like at their different um venues huh. yeah so it's usually like, it's usually uh i've never been because i don't and if i have to travel out of state and i'm not getting paid for it i don't go i don't blame you <laughs> so I, i'm normally only only here in l.a but I've been asked to go to uh, Exotica in New Jersey. So I'm really debating on that right now. We should go. I'm, well, the only thing I will be doing there is people want me to shoot them. Oh. Yeah, well, pictures. Because I'm not doing content. I'm not shooting content. But they want me to shoot pictures while I'm out there. And I'm like, they got to make it worth my while. Because... <laughs> Oh, have you, have you been to Exotica yet? Any? Um, Miami is the only one that I've been to. Like, I haven't been to uh the other cities as mm -hmm. of yet. Um, I do know I am going to New Jersey. I'm going to be featuring with September Rain again. It's gonna be me, her, Hazel Grace, and Portia Carrera at a booth together. Her birthday. Um, yesterday. this will be my first time on the East Coast too, as well. Oh wow! Well, I lied. This will be my second time because I've been to New York once, but I didn't really have fun there. But this will be my first time in Jersey. <laughs> um, Exo Exotica, New Jersey, is a big monster compared yeah, to uh, Miami. That was what I've heard. Because Miami, Miami is no. Don't get me wrong. Exotica is great, but as far as the fans who come out, um. Miami is like one sixteenth of the people that uh you actually uh get in New Jersey. Yeah. So it's gonna be crazy. And you should also sign up for uh X three. It's a it's out here in LA. Okay. And, and when is that during? That's January, I think. Is it before or after AVN? I think it's before. 
AV is after because uh, AVN is doing my birthday weekend. Okay, when's your birthday weekend? I'm January 3rd. Okay. So it's around there. Like either that week or, yeah, so I'm January 3rd. So I, that's another reason I never go because it's like. It's during your birthday weekend. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not trying to work. And then I'm like, this year I'm turning 40 and I'm like, no. Yeah, that's how I felt at Urban Eggs. Everybody kept trying to shoot with me while I was, I'm like, no, I am here to drink. Leave me alone. <laughs> This is my whole birthday weekend. I'm just trying to chill out. This is my vacation, technically. Well, that's that's one thing you are going to get, no matter no matter what award show you go to. Everybody's going to want to say, "Hey, tent," you know. And it's like, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, I don't drink, but I'm just trying to drink, smoke, and chill out. <laughs> I worry, I worry, but I will worry about your dick later. <laughs> oh shoot! I think uh, excuse me, fell out for a second. But yeah, like yeah, I worry about your dick later. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly, golly! And I'm still—I keep looking at my phone, trying to see will he reply back within while we're on the podcast because he's, he's usually really good at messaging me right back, but replying fast. But yeah, he didn't. He hasn't said not a word. <laughs> And the last time we spoke was about him going through my going through this box that uh -huh. I've said talk, I've talked about on the podcast before. Just to, I have a box of uh, so I always get free sex toys, and uh -huh. I just I just throw them in a box. And why? Then when that when that cause I don't I don't need them. They're, well, why don't yeah. you give them away then? We finish my and then whenever somebody <laughs> comes here and visits me. I as a porn performer, I'm like, go to the box, take like two, two, three things, and I let everybody who's actually visiting my house take a lot of stuff. Like it's stuff like, like this that's nice. in there. You got yeah. like fucking twenty of those things. Yeah, it's like twenty of them in here. Then a whole bunch of other like vibe. Like I think. He came by and he took uh because he was doing a scene with somebody and he took uh uh some of the the dildos that was in there and it's just like please take them. <laughs> oh, you were running a sex toy surplus? Like no, it's just like I get them, I get them and like I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? This is, this is like they they are silly next to my computer. This is how <laughs> many this is how many I have, and they and they end up they end up on the floor when I give them to people when I when I take the box back to where it's supposed to be, and they end up right here, and that's why they're like right here, and they're still in the bag. They're brand new. I I had I had a I had a butt plug with a, a like with a rainbow butt plug that was literally in my living room behind my uh. Why? My college degree that was just sitting in the, li in the living room. How did it get like, back there? For like six uh, months. How did it get back there? For six months. You for six months. For six months. You, you didn't want to was, pick it up. For six it was, months. No, 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 no. It was behind it was on the table behind the degree. Okay. So you weren't dusting off the degree or no, the table. No, I, no, I don't uh -huh. like, I pay a maid to clean. And I had a house you guest. Having a maid. Yes, I don't take this out. Take this out. I'm gonna tell you this. I like. I have a whole house, and I am lazy. If <laughs> I can pay somebody else to do what I don't want to do, I will do it. And I when I do, and when I don't pay somebody, I pay them with food. <laughs> I, <laughs> I will pay you with meal. <laughs> I will pay you really with is. Food. You really? Hey, what you want to eat? I'm like, oh, uh, okay, yeah. Rasta, puppy Rasta. You don't get no money, and no, I, I gotta keep them broke. I gotta keep them broke. <laughs> I give you some nice things, I give you sex toys, I give you some some food, but no dough. Can no you dough. cook Rasta? Yes, I can cook. My my my, my mom does not. Yeah, my mom you don't eat green vegetables. Yeah, don't do Lies. Lies. You don't eat green vegetables. Yeah, I don't eat. I, I don't eat green vegetables. I don't know. I don't know. You never asked me to. You, why don't you? You eat don't green cook vegetables. vegetables with corn, huh? Why don't you eat green vegetables? I don't like green vegetables at all. I why? Like, I just don't like the taste. 
I will eat. I will eat. They don't other. all taste the same. I will. I, will, I don't right. like broccoli. I don't like those little sweet peas. I don't like. I like celery. Um. I don't like. Uh. What's the other greens? I don't like greens. What? You're black and you don't like greens. Mm -mm. What is wrong with you? The thing is, like, I like other food. He got a. Like, he got a. Mm -mm, he got a cover I, full of little like, Debbie. I like no. all processed. Yeah, but got guess what? Checkers well, fries, CW, frozen CW, CW, fries, CW, you Barbie's eat, you, fries. You, 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 you don't want to eat all the little Debbie's. I don't even mess with them. I don't mess with them. <laughs> <laughs> don't, wait. <laughs> then why? Now, aren't you supposed why, to be when a I personal back, trader, CW? When I come back, I yeah, eat this. that so I can have those times <laughs> to counterbalance. Uh -huh. It's kind of all about yeah. the balance. Oh, I don't even know. Why, every time I come back, there's a new box, though. Because I have gas if I only ate them, You eat that stuff all the time. Okay. You, okay. All See you this car. Okay. 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 Mina. CW is at, uh, at uh, like not mentioning the fact that I ha always have a house full of people over here that just eat all the time. <laughs> and he's thinking about it because he knows I'm right. Yeah, 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 he be having a lot of petite girls over there, and you know how, you know how petite women eat sometimes. Yeah, yeah. we would really like to get down. Like, get down. like, like, like oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna say her really name. Eat all person, that, and you watch. But the like, person yeah, at my really like is. on my shirt right now was at my house earlier today, so I'm like, and they ate some of the stuff. So, yeah, it's true. You do have a lot of people just snacking and eating at your house, just like, and that's why I always have it full. I don't be eating it. I got eat like I have this right here, and this will last me a week. Bag of Starburst, huh? Yeah, and that's all I have. All and candy. Every, yeah, Skittles, and that's, Skittles, jelly beans. Yeah, and no, and those have been been in there for like two months now. That's true. I took a bag. See, see, he's, he's trying to make me like make, make me look like a gut glutton. The thing is, like, I just don't like green vegetables. I like, I like, I like uh cauliflower. I mean, I, like I mean, it's a vegetable, but Doctor Sebi is rolling over in his grave right now. Well, he, he, <laughs> he can he can roll, flip, and do cartwheels for all I care. <laughs> it's like no, I mean, like vegetables. all you eat is like chi chimera, chimera vegetables. Probably only see. Do you even eat? Do you even eat watermelon? No, I didn't think so. Why? Not watermelon. You know, and, like stuff is good for them. Watermelon and banana always leave a, a bad taste in my mouth. But I love kiwi. I love pineapple. I love peaches. I love plum. I got a. I have a peach tree. But you, you just you said those, and you just described I, like slimy. I have very, a very like. Yeah, They're but perfect like, in this no, small but, window. But, water, but watermelon and pineapple, banana, 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 banana leaves, a, leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I literally have a peach tree outside. I was oh, eating peaches. That's probably because, you know, watermelon's kind of healthy. A healthier <laughs> fruit. Mm, that's no, right. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like watery, huh? You said peaches are healthy, too? Yeah, they're healthy. So is kiwi. See, I love and kiwi is my favorite fruit. And I'm like, sure. I, I literally, I literally have a peach tree in my backyard, and I was eating off of Man, it. Man, ain't nobody eating them raw ass peaches. No, <laughs> no, I, I, I got them when they were still in the tree. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I was those so soft ass peaches I had to rake together. It's so well, no, no, those, those are ones that like when it falls off the tree, they're they're bad. That's when the yeah, bucket. you're not ever supposed to yeah. eat the ones on the ground. You're supposed to pick them yeah. off the. He's talking the about branches. like we did we did a a, a, a new well, shit, shoot. Thanks for letting me know when you picked the the right peaches. Yeah, my last apartment, I had I had a mango tree in the backyard, mm. and like I'll go out there every so often and just pick fresh mangoes. Off of hell, it was what a branch that was literally like parallel to like my balcony. I didn't even have to go down, uh, go oh, pick cool. up. I could literally just reach from my balcony and just grab fresh mangoes. You're in Florida, you were in Florida. Like when I was in Florida, we had a huge mango tree, and uh, my neighbor I had a neighbor, like they had they had a whole bunch of kids. And the thing is, I'm guessing nobody lived in the house I moved into. But the kids used to jump over the like kept jumping over the fence, 
trying to grab the mangoes. Yeah. And I think it, it startled me one day and like they saw me run out there and they ran away. I'm like, look, I have no issue with y'all being back here. Just knock on my door because like, you know, I have a gun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. You certainly do. Like I'm in Florida now. I gotta get this yeast on go. Oh no, no, like the thing the thing is like the thing, the, thing, the, thing, the thing is like, right? Like if this is my table, like this is the door, and then away is a is a is a tree. So I like I don't like guns, but I kept one next to the computer. And it's like if I hear a noise and I know like I'm not in the best place in Florida at the time. I get nervous. And you know you and you know for a fact you're by yourself. Yeah, because like so, someone has li literally ran up to my house in Florida and took the tires off the car. No. Yes. Yes, and like I just, I just happened. You to must be, have been in the hood. I was in uh, when I first moved to Florida. I was in uh, Fort. I was in Lauder Hill. What was that? Lauder that Hill? PT Cruiser you had. Uh, no, this was uh, this was the uh, 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 the Cylon. Oh, and yeah, and they took off the Cylon, and we were like, "Oh, okay." And then I just happened to be leaving to go to uh, come to L.A. that day to shoot for uh, Knockout Networks. Mm -mm. Yeah, when I, I uh, see that when I was when we came and shot on oh, that boat, on the, on the yeah, boat. That's right. I when I came to shoot on the boat, they stole the tires that morning. So I was Get out. going outside to uh, go to the uh, to the airport, and the dude, one of the dudes, saw me and ran down the street, and I didn't realize what he was doing until I looked around the car, and one was on a um was on a uh, darn um the 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 uh, block. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. they're gonna have you on some wow. Yeah. And I just happened to leave like that movie that morning. Hell no! I'm like, oh my god! And that's when that's when I moved to uh, I crossed the street from to the hustler store because that was too much for me. Yeah, I don't Cause, blame you. Yeah, because I would shoot like I I'm not I don't I don't advocate violence, but like I would shoot somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't I don't do the hit, but anyway, we had a a, a big old mango tree, and the kids kept jumping in. And I ended up getting like like five big old bags of just mangoes, and a lot of them went bad because it was a lot of mangoes. But anyway, I know how to cook. I love to cook, and I cook for everybody who come over my house. And what do you when like it, to cook? uh, chicken, steak, uh, pork chops. I know how to fry and bake. And okay. like when I I do know how to fry and bake a ho. Don't give me that I look. Even, I didn't even open up my mouth. I didn't say a word. You just gave me a look, and I don't uh -uh. appreciate the look. Yeah, um, I, I mean, whenever I barbecue, you try to jump on the grill. So, um, it, what you mean when you say I'm barbecuing yeah. and then I barbecue? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to jump on the grill. You're like, hey, Chris, you barbecue. Hey, you put that. You put hey, Chris, you barbecue. Oh, no, because like whenever I barbecue, I have people come over. And the thing is, it's like, I know some of them, they want to talk to me. And I get distracted. When I'm in my house, when I'm, when I'm in the house, I, I can, I can, I can uh, monitor it more. Yeah, I'm the grill master. <laughs> But it's my grill. <laughs> yeah. I wish I wish I was just a guest. Uh -uh. And I want some I want some fried pork chops. I want some 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 food. You just be like, hey, there's some fries in there, bro. Okay, one. Um, you don't eat pork. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I've been eating pork lately. This man just said, that, why. This man just said he was a pork type. He don't eat pork. So mm -hmm. I don't think I should be eating this. These things get smart as three year olds. Huh? <laughs> Something feels wrong about that. Oh, golly. Or is it because they're smarter? They taste better. I don't know. I thought it was. I saw my phone go off. I thought it was uh, the person replying back to me. 
but it was somebody asking for money. Um, oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how much they asked for. Anyway, no, nah, but I cook for, I usually cook for um, like my guests if I don't just order DoorDash. Because we'd be sitting over here boring. Around the corner. Huh? DoorDash. It's, it's DoorDash, man. I just don't understand it. Maybe I'm too cheap. Uh-uh. Maybe oh, I'm, know, I'm like, it's around the corner. We can get in the car. I waste, I waste, I waste a lot. have the Wendy's for delivery. I mean, I waste a lot of money on yeah. everything. Like, if we're sitting here and you just, y'all, people just look at me and say, we hungry. I would just throw them my phone and say, "What we gonna get from DoorDash?" Sometimes, You're which is not, not a person. I waste a lot of money on ordering food too. Yeah. So, and even even when I like take pictures of people, um, for photo shoots, I usually purchase the uh, wardrobe just so they don't have to, you know, buy it or wear something they worn before. Yeah. So I waste a little. I waste a is okay that a waste? With... No, no. I mean, not like, necessarily. No, I, I'm this, saying it's an this investment. This is this is, this is yeah. this. what I mean. Is like I buy more than what we're actually going to like that we use, and then sometimes it just sits around. Oh, because I have like literally like. Well, she just started an online store. So I have stuff. a. I have a. I have a big, that I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. I what mean, it's you what... got all those toys and outfits. You might as yeah. well. Yeah. I have, or you, I have, hey, you can sell them on Sniffer. I have, I have probably like uh, two bait outfits in my garage right now. Uh, I have a lot of just random, like I don't know what it's called. What's that holy stocking thing called? I have those fish nets. Fish nets. Thank you. I have fish nets, just whole brand new ones. Like a pack of like seven random uh, carpet underwear. Are you trying to start a production company? No. <laughs> You be like, I, I just, got all this stuff. I don't know. I don't know I what I'm going to do with them. That's why, and, I, and that's why I got the box. I, mm, use, like, I got so like, much. Uh, like I, I, I have these. I don't even smoke a lot. So it's like, and that's just going to sit there for forever until Chris come by. Nah, nah, literally. Gotta, I'm quitting, man. I'm quitting. <laughs> See, then they're just going to go bad. Whatever. You I mean, I kind of agree with CW. You should start your own like little uh, online store and just uh, get rid of it all. I have a I have a whole day job that I can't even put my name with that. <laughs> but <laughs> you can still be raw star. It don't have to be. It don't have to have your name associated uh, with it. Just name hey, something different. No, but no, get like sex toys at raw star, bro. I don't know. Maybe that's the no. That actually, they're actually in my garage right now because. When I had the maid come here last time, I had like the three big old boxes of toys that were just beside my room in the guest room. And I'm like, let me move these outside. Then I forgot I left all the whips and the paddles in the guest room on the table. So, yeah, it's it's really bad over here, Mina. She's judging me right now. <laughs> just like he just randomly got toys, whips, and paddles and. Ball gags everywhere. Yeah, I do. It's bad. Don't yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to start your own production company over there. No, like I just, <laughs> I, I get them for free, and I just give them, give them right away. <laughs> and that's why I like have a big old box. Raw star. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> Might as well. Do I have it? No, no, no. I, 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 I love my position in the industry right now. I can. Oh, like, the one. I, like, what the fuck does this dude do? Yes. I, I, don't, I, don't, like, song, but I don't know who the fuck. I don't know what the fuck he do. Hey, that's that's Rockstar. What do he do? That's Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is the like. I don't know if you've asked me well, what do I actually do because I'm everywhere Mina outside of outside of this podcast but that's the question that everybody asks and we will have known me for years in this industry asked what the does Rostar actually do what is that guy's name you something like uh is his name Michael Avon you seem yeah. like you're always connecting people <laughs> to somebody like hey oh you want to get to know you want to know who they is okay let me 
I, I kind of know him. Let me give him a. Oh shit! You just did it. Let me get it. Let me shoot him a text real quick and see if <laughs> see if I can hook this up. Anyway, he didn't reply back. So I was. I keep looking at my phone, wondering if they're actually going to reply. back. And I bet you they're going to reply back as soon as uh, we get off. Because, but it'd be funny if they reply back before here. So, but yeah, that's what I do. I'm, the, I'm just a connector, and I take pictures for a living. And they look, they look, they look halfway decent enough that people will keep hiring me again and again. The same. People. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, back to back to you, um, mainly you. So, uh, so uh, what what all do you say you have upcoming? So I, so I can remember correctly. Um, like I said, I, ooh, um. I just had a scene come out with Brazzers. Yes. Um, I said I have my first uh, European shoot coming up in October. Do you know who you're shooting with out there? Uh, I do not know the name of the talent or the company currently. I just know the location. That's really about it. I'm going to be in Finland. Um, Shit, that. Yeah, that's just like <laughs> that's, that sounds like hostile. <laughs> oh yeah, uh the uh uh I'm sure it'll all turn out okay. Uh, it will. Like I was honestly <laughs> thinking I was me, I was honestly thinking the same. Like me being like, uh, me I'm being okay. black, like I always like kinda like go back to <laughs> yeah, that that type of stuff. I mean, it, always... it, it could be it could be the hostel, uh, fake hostel. Oh, uh, yeah, it could be actual fake yeah. hostel, or Possibly. fake, or fake, or taxi. fake taxi. I thought that was in the UK, though. I thought they did the fake taxi there. I have no idea where they should. I oh, don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I think fake taxi is there. Oh, uh, what's that? Can't think of that company that Liv worked for when she was in that area. It's probably it's probably the one that Liv like uh, uh, Liv revamped uh, was working for out there. Probably. Do you even know who that is? I, I didn't know Liv, Liv revamped. I met her at Exotica. Okay, yeah, Liv was always a sweetheart because I know they party together. Yeah, so. yeah, she's super cool. But he like. Either way, you're gonna love it out there. Uh, like, since you've never been out of, uh, have you ever been out of the country at all? I have, but this okay. is the first time that a I'm going by myself, so it's gonna be something new. And this is the first time like I've been on a flight more than a couple of hours. Ooh. And I have a little bit of ADHD, so I'm like kind of nervous to fly. Um, 12 hours there and 12 hours back i will say this because i because i the crime baby most it's it's always crime babies on flights like that yeah i didn't i didn't have that when i went when i because i went to amsterdam um and by way of going to ghana and um when i was going there i didn't have no babies but they have like some good like they have better movies yeah. As far as the test screen uh going there. And then like like for me for me the food was decent enough. I don't know which airline you're taking. I don't want to say it on here either. But yeah. um which airline you're taking, but like the food was good too. So it was it was a comfortable trip for me. Do they uh, always serve meals on flights uh of that um that yeah, I think I think everyone I've been I, on. I think anything over seven hours, they have to uh, serve food. At least one okay. meal. At least one meal. And I think we got two meals that flight um, that I was on because I forget how long it was. Because I was, I was going, we were going to um, Amsterdam. Do you have to purchase them? Uh -uh. No. Well, it's, it's included well, in your in your ticket. I mean, you could you could purchase more like more food. Uh, but like it's so included was, with the price of the ticket. Yeah, I, I was on King International when I flew, um, okay, a long time ago, and it was included with the uh, with the plane ticket. Oh, really? Yeah, I flew Emirates and everything was included. I had three meals because of the time in my flight, 
was were like, you, oh. were you, did you go straight to Tanzania or did you just? No, we first flew to Dubai and then okay. from Dubai to Dar es Salaam and then I took a ferry. Nice. But yeah, no, nah, yeah, usually, yeah, from what I know, no, no, it's not like, now I ride Spirit. <laughs> for everything or frontier so we're like see yeah no, no i don't do spirit. I, I, do re, I, re, I refuse i refuse spirit. to get on spirit frontier or uh what's that other cheap airline um or that other cheap airline i refuse i mean it, uh, i would rather hitchhike i'm you know, actually fine. okay so i just <laughs> I've been traveling through Spirit as of lately, simply because a it's been cheaper. I'm typically I typically fly through Southwest, so I feel you completely on that one, Ross. I I feel like Southwest, I they I feel like every adult in every adult star I've talked to, like yeah, I fly Southwest. Yeah, Southwest is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, they need an endorsement or a sponsorship or something. I promise. Like, I at like... this point, y'all just need to give me, like, one of them credit cards so I can start, like, just ordering my <laughs> flights from y'all. Like, Spirit's asses, too. They need to give me, they need to give me some sort of credit card by now because the amount of flights that I've been ordered through y'all, like, is ridiculous. But now I got a little, I got a little friend who, who works for them so he's been helping me oh, with yeah. shit. so it's been cool <laughs> see like, see like i only fly uh southwest um virgin jet blue and some like if i'm really desperate i go delta but those are the ones that i normally oh. do you want to know who I've flown, flew, uh, flew with recently that is like really, really low key slept on? What? Alaska Airlines. I was about to say, I heard Alaska is nice. Alaska it's is like nice, cheap. dog. Let me tell you. I've never had a, I've never seen Alaska pop. I see up. the flights and I'd be like, you know, that's, it seems weird because it's going to someplace else, but. <laughs> But yeah, I like their airline. I've never flown to Alaska. I just I just get nervous when I jump on new airlines because I was they're I giving was, Southwest vibes. Because <laughs> okay. I was I was my first time going on Frontier. Like I didn't know what to expect, and I was I was sad when I got on it because I was going from Florida to. Uh, it was a direct flight from Florida to my home city in Indiana because it's mm -hmm. like a small airline. And I'm uh -huh. like, this is god awful. And it costs more overall because you're paying, you're paying for more bags. So it ended up costing more to fly these airlines, these cheap airlines, than it does. Uh, that personal item. But right? that's because of what you just said. You're flying to a smaller hub. So it's always going to cost more to fly to smaller no, hubs no, 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 as I mean, opposed to big metropolis. metropolis. I, mean, like, I, mean, I, mean, I mean the bag for Southwest. Because you might pay like $70 compared to $120. Like Southwest might say $120 and Spirit might say $70. But when you get the bag fee, the bag fee is $45. Mm -hmm. And then they mm -hmm. uh, and do they they charge for carry on too? Yeah. So you yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's that's seventy that's, that's yeah. seventy more dollars right there, and you're already paying more than you would pay for Southwest and the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I only bring I've never flown through Frontier. So I mean, that's the same thing with Spirit. So they just they just tax you when you get there, and mm. when you pay up front, you pay less. I just don't bring stuff. You bring this. That Nothing that mine. backpack and we gonna go. Mm -mm. See, no, I need, I need, I need, I need, um, I need uh, choices when I travel. Same. I have choices. You just gotta, <laughs> bro. I need choices. I need, I need it. Like if I'm going, if I'm going for six days, I need at least ten shirts. Okay. <laughs> mm. I mean, I, I already like, yeah. All, oh. I, all I, all I pack is my shirts. My pants and my socks. That's all I need. Uh, you don't got no deodorant, no. I mean, personal. 
Two face. I need, I need, I need my, I need those. But I mean, like, as far as clothes. So, then, like, my um personals. So yeah, I always overpack where, no matter where I'm going. Like, see, see me, see, yeah, me and me, me and me, and I get it. You just yeah, you, like I, you, I overpack, but you know, I, just, I, just, like, I just, I just, I got, I got, I got, I got a feeling you just pack a whole bunch of uh tank tops and shorts and call it a day. I don't even wear like <laughs> you may be right on the tank tops, but mm -mm -mm. I'm never going anywhere, and the only time I like to go out is to the dance, and I don't I'm not going to press anybody, so it's always yeah, I'm mostly like there's some jeans in the bag and <laughs> so if you... I have to wear something nice, I'll buy it there. That's what I do. <laughs> See. <laughs> but anyway, are you watching anything? Um, like what what you're watching right now? What what can your fans say they can they are watching the same time as you? Okay, so I'm definitely watching Raising Canaan right now, and um, the spinoff of Game of Thrones, House of Dragon. Mm -hmm. Did you see that last episode? How'd you Boy, feel? okay, okay. So little, yes, let's. I was let's, a little like. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like, know how I feel about this. Not the not the prehis not the the medieval Plan B dog, not not how oh, yeah. medieval yeah. Plan Just B in dog. Case you can be fucking, you don't want no kids. Here's a little potion. Yo, this. I was weak as fuck. I was a little like when the when her friend was like, "Yeah, you Targaryens have weird customs." I was like, "They sure yo, do. They sure do." Like. It was just a whole bunch of shit going on in that episode. I'm like, I gotta rewatch this <laughs> because like I still haven't like fully like processed everything that happened. I am definitely looking forward to um tomorrow's episode, that's for sure. Um, I am also watching Handmaid's Tale. Oh yeah, that just came back. I just watched the first two episodes. Yeah, it's it's wild, isn't it? <laughs> I don't watch any of these shows. Y'all can go ahead and have a conversation about that. <laughs> what do you watch, uh, Raw Star? What shows do you watch? I mean, what right right now I'm watching She Hawk. And oh, Paper yeah, Girls. I, I thought that was a movie. No, it's a it's a, it's a TV show on my own. Not half an hour like comedy. Have you seen have you ever like I don't know if you have uh Amazon Prime? I but do. if you do. Watch Paper Girls. Now they already canceled it, and they, I heard people are looking like they're chipping it around for season two. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing freaking show. What is it about? Basically, um, without giving too much away, uh, the girls who like they're all Paper Girls. It's four four girls, um, and they are transported into the future. And um, on the first episode, and this is in a, this is in a preview in a trailer too. Um, one of the girls, she's a an Asian American. She uh, sees her future self, and like uh, then they go through the cycle of trying to get back, but they also see where their lives go, like in uh -huh. the future, or whatever. But like, it's one agency that is trying to keep the timeline. Like, like what as what it is. Do you uh -huh. have people who believe that um, they need to change the timeline to fix to to fix the issues for a better? You for, way too much, huh? I thought you wasn't giving away too much. That's in a trailer. Yeah, and that's and that, and it's a really good. It's a really really good show. Okay. I mean, I didn't I didn't say anything that's not in the trailer. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good show, and it's it's only uh eight episodes long as a uh, yeah eight episodes long. About Don't 40... you hate when they do that when they make a real good show and like they only give it one season and just decide what's, not to fuck what, with it anymore? What's so sad? What's so sad is like you know how on Rotten Tomatoes like the higher the number like it was like 90 95 percent it supposed to be really good. It has a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And like uh, a eighty five or something like that on fan votes, as far as IMDb and stuff like that, 
It has wow. a really high rating, but they said they canceled it because it didn't hit the number of views that they wanted. But everybody is saying they spent so much money on that a different show. That is such horseshit. Like, and, I'm mad. Okay, so two shows I'm mad that they, like, canceled. A, Euphoria. I was definitely looking forward to the next season, but apparently, like, some shit happened with, like, the director and a couple of like, the cast. cast. <laughs> so now they're just completely, like, just going to, just scrap the show that in Lovecraft Country. Oh yeah, I liked Lovecraft. Yeah, I, I didn't know they. Can- I didn't so know they canceled good. Euphoria until just now. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I know they were having a lot of problems. <laughs> I because I because I, I knew um I can't they were for- like the one girl dropped out. The there was issues between the, the psycho boy and the trans girl. Yeah, yeah I, just, I, I knew I knew about that, and I knew the Behind girl this, who uh who was uh, uh, stripping online. Um, she, I know she had quit. So. Yeah, so that's the the, the girl cat. So apparently they wanted to make a storyline of her having like, uh, like body dysmorphia. They wanted to make her like, basically like trying to like make herself like skinny. And she's like, fuck that. I'm not going to play portray a character with the fucking eating disorder i mean like one big thing of her character was it's, the fact it's that her she was being like it's her embracing the fact that she is a big girl like in and one of the episodes there's nothing like she literally said there's nothing more powerful than a fat bitch who doesn't give a fuck so yeah i was like I'm like yeah that's you know, I'm on the fence about that because, like, as a teenager, you go through many some phases and so what different ways you look at yourself. So, like, I mean, I feel like story wise, it would be justified, but like, the what an actor would have to do for that and her own feeling about her own kind of image. That exactly. Is kind of that. Maybe it would have opened up something that's kind of close to home for her because yeah. you never know what she dealt with prior to becoming who she was on this show maybe it would have opened up a lot of shit that she doesn't really want to have reopened or rehashed or even share that type of shit on there i don't that's, blame her that's true. i don't blame her because as an actor or an actress i feel like people should be mindful uh, about the certain things that they put out there that's true. Yeah, and that's one. Yeah, that's one thing I was mad about when I seen when I seen she get left. I was like, no, because like she like a big part of the show itself was about her. Yeah, that second, that second season, they didn't know what to do. They really didn't, and it's I felt so like they didn't know what to do. Like, first of all, you have fucking Zendaya playing Temple Run for an entire episode. Like, I just feel like they just they just did random shit. Like, I get like I I get people on drugs do random shit, so it kind of like fit with what they were trying to do. But like, I just felt like they were all over the place with what they wanted to do with that season. Yeah. Yeah. Though I think that uh that uh that part with her in the kitchen, that was some acting. Yeah. She acted her 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 butt off right there. Yeah. I don't want to say too much people who haven't watched it. It's shame on you. But that part in the kitchen was that I didn't know what to say from that. <laughs> I agree. There. So I look, I've I've seen this show at least. Exactly. I do watch some television. I watch a lot of anime. So yeah. a lot of yeah. slight life anime, teenage romance. Yeah. The only one that I could really like actually sit down and watch was Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Legend of Korra. I was a big uh I, he's he's making was, I really like uh <clears throat> Legend of Korra. Yeah. I just yeah. I haven't seen the last airman. I actually saw Legend of Korra first, and I just haven't went back, went back and watched Last Airbender. Yeah, I watched Avatar uh, when it was on Nickelodeon and everything like that. My friend, she's um, really into anime. Like she's 
so into it. She tried to get me to sit down and watch Naruto with her too many times. I just could didn't have the mental capacity for it. A, it was way too many fucking episodes. That's oh, why I can't watch it. Many episodes and half of them are filler. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them, I didn't even know that, um, like, a lot of them weren't even in fucking English. So we had to, like... This was this is before Naruto even was on, like the English version of Naruto was even on Netflix. So like this was when like I was in like middle high middle school, high school. We had to watch all of that shit offline, like off of a weird like, like two we website. Anime website is gonna give like a 10 pop-ups and then we're gonna watch Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Gotta sit up here and deal with all these damn viruses and stuff because you want to watch one episode of this shit. Hold on, on this. No, I'm just watching anime. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, I want to say this. Like, I didn't get back get back into anime until probably probably like 2000 and uh, 2011. Yeah. Because of anime called uh, Rosario and Vampire, but after that, I got back hooked on it. And I used to I used to watch Dragon Ball Z back in the day. Yeah, and same. then one day I was sitting with CW, and like I was trying to find something to watch, and I randomly click Rosario with Vampire, and now I'm hooked back on watching anime. Yeah, and Sailor Moon too. Like oh, that yeah. was something that I kind of like tried to like go back and rewatch as an adult, and like I'm like, why did my mom allow me to watch this show as a child? <laughs> My friend, my friend's a voice on Sailor Moon, like the English dub version of it. Really? And like, yeah, and like, it's weird because like once you start, like once you meet like voice actors for you know popular anime stuff, and then you hear their voice, it's like you see their face, and it's like it just throws you off a little bit now. Yeah. yeah. Huh? They use a lot of the same like people, so you're like, hey, oh, that's blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, because mm-hmm. like. It's an anime called uh, Dominic's First Time. I don't know this voice actress personally, but every time I hear her voice, I, I think of just that character, and I can't separate it. At least in Japanese, like, I can't tell. It's the same voice. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's how I feel about Regina King. Like, every time, like, I watch the Boondocks, like, it's still part of me who can't even believe, like, she's literally doing the voice for fucking Huey and Riley. And I saw, like, a video of her, like, doing, like, the voice acting. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was just so funny. Like, how you said the face expressions she was yeah. making while she was doing each voice was just so funny to me. I'm like, this is wild. Like, this lady is really talented. Yeah. Okay. She's been good since was it two two seven? Yeah, that she has been legendary. But yes, yes. Oh, did you just die? See that people happen. <laughs> but um, no. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, I forgot where I was about to go with this. But yeah, everybody. Okay, we actually went over time. So uh, everybody, I wanted I want to really thank Mina for coming on. As Thank you, can you see, for having me. She is such a fun thing. And I, I know we went over, we went, we went 15 minutes over. So thank you for staying with us over the 15, over our time. You are a joy, a pleasure. And I look forward to all the great things and magnificent things you do in your future. Because I know you have many, many big things ahead of you. And I hope that you achieve everything that you uh, set, out, set out for. I believe you can achieve it. And I believe you have the drive to do it. Thank you. So please tell everybody uh, out there, where can they where can they find you? Okay, so you guys can find me on Instagram at Mina Carlisle 3.0. And you guys can find me on Twitter at I Mina Carlisle. Please make sure that you guys spell my name correctly. The spelling of my name is M-E-N-A-C-A-R-L-I-S-L-E. Yes. And it's Carlisle, like the vampire. Yeah, I, gotta, I can't. I can't lie. I had to. Uh, I spelled it wrong two times last night when I was it's trying okay. to. Um, it's okay. When just... I was uh, looking at research about you. Yes. <laughs> just remember, it's it's two L's in my name. It's one in the middle and like one at the very end. <laughs> CW, where can they find you? You can find me. Uh, CC Fitness LA. 
on Instagram, I guess still, uh, ccfitnessla.com, ccfitnessla on Twitter, and ccfitnessla, oh, I said .com already, didn't I? Shit. Do you know, oh, you, do you try, know, do you, know you could just say ccfitnessla on every social media Fitness platform? LA everywhere, baby. And it if just, you don't see me there, I'm out here in these streets. That just, that just, <laughs> that just cuts down on like three minutes of your outro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was thinking about changing all of my stuff to the same thing. It's, but... As you said, it's branding. Yeah. yeah. And I was about to say, I am Raw Star on Twitter and on Instagram. See? Same thing everywhere. And also, um, we're at we're Burberry Memphis on um, Twitter, the Burberry Memphis on Instagram, and BurberryMemphis.com. This is everything we do from photography, graphics, um, exercise, and every little thing that we do because we do a lot of things in this world that we have. Um, again, um, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and we look forward to everything that you do. And we will be cheering you on like some little cheerleaders in the background. Thank you. So, again everybody, that. we'll see you next week. And uh, make sure, hey, make sure right now you go out there and check out her OnlyFans. And um, after you finish, you know, make sure you you continue to subscribe. All right, be well, stay blessed. Have a good day.